Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. How's it going today? Hopefully pretty well. Today we are going over another real estate math practice question. If you're new here in this series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. If you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below and they may be featured in a future video. If you want to try these real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, go ahead and check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam, so make sure to click that like button and subscribe, that way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So we're going over GRM today, it's going to be our third GRM question, so hopefully by now you guys are experts. Alright, let's take a look. Find the annual GRM, a four unit building in Detroit, Michigan, with an asking price of $300,000 and gross annual rents of $25,000, round to the nearest 100th. All right, so it gives us four options, A12, B12.22, C20, or D22.22. So as always, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an opportunity to pause here, bust out the math, do all that good stuff, and then we'll talk about the answer and all that good stuff in a little bit. So go ahead and do that now. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer on this one. If you need more time, cool, feel free to pause. You can do some more time, all that good stuff. If not, I'm just gonna jump into our answer. So what is our answer for this one? Well, it's going to be A, that's right, it's 12. So how did we get that? Well, in our GRM problems, you guys should know the formula by now if you've been watching uh, for the past three videos. What's the formula? Well, it's going to be GRM equals property price divided by gross rental income. So in our case, what's that going to look like? Well, we're going to take that $300,000 and then we're going to divide that by $25,000, which is going to give us 12. That's right, 12. So it's as simple as that. And again, when you're looking at these problems, uh, you know, there will be some times where there's questions that go along with this. So maybe it'll ask, well, you know, why, you know, why 12 or why is 12 important? Is 12 good? Stuff like that. In some states, you know, they might ask you, you know, a little more hands on questions like, you know, what does that 12 actually mean? Things like that. Well, again, that 12 just means it would take 12 years uh, in annual rents and gross annual rents to pay off that $300,000. But yeah, that's going to be it for us today and this week. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you have any feedback, comments, questions down below, ask them, ask away, all that good stuff. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something. And like I said before, this is a learning experience. We're doing math together, all that good stuff. So don't be afraid if you guys are struggling with a question, maybe in your classes or in a book to leave it down below and maybe we could bust it out together. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical. See you next time.